Today, we're back at the little kitchen garden patch we built about two weeks ago. Today, we're going to mulch it and we're gonna thin out some of the seedlings as well. So before we go ahead and mulch it, we are just going to thin out the seedlings. This is our silver beet here. And as you can see, there is a lot of silver beet. We want, we'll keep two plants for now and we'll thin that down to one later. You could repot these up and give them to your friends or family as well. Or pot them up and put them on marketplace and try and sell them. There's a couple of marigolds which are soft seeded as well, which I did not plant. The snapdragons down here are just starting to come up. While we're here thinning these seedlings out, we'll also just go through and give it a little bit of a weed. The set of lettuce have come along quite nicely. I'm not gonna do any thinning on those yet. I'm pretty happy with them. And it's about now that I've realized the microphone has stopped working while videoing. So the rest will be done in voiceover. So it's time to mulch around all of the seedlings. Just be careful with some of the smaller seedlings not to cover them with mulch. I like to just grab small amounts of mulch out of the bag at a time and just go around spreading it as thick as I can around the plants. Now you've finished mulching the patch, it's time to give it a good liquid feed. I like to use power feed. Since these are just seedlings, I only use um, it in a small dosage, so it's recommended 10 milliliters per two to four square meters. This patch is three square meters, so I'll be just using one capful, which is 10 mil of power feed. I'll just add this into my Holman fertigator and I'll fill it up with water and then just liquid feed the whole patch. Then in about a week's time, we'll do the same again with 10 mil. More of power feed and then we'll come back the following week and up the dose to 50 mil. Stay tuned for more updates on this kitchen garden patch as it grows and I'll have more tips as we go along showing you how to make this patch grow really well and how you can have a good harvest from this patch. In the upcoming videos, we will show you how we use the produce from this patch and we will also show you how we re-sow plants into it for a succession planting so you can have a continual crop all year round coming from this patch.